One, two, three. Who is going to pass all the obstacles to get to the prize, which is a punch in the face? I brought more to the park to give it away. I gave one to the gas station lady. I threw it on the floor. She hates me now. Anyways, these ones have like my business card, so it also has my name on it. Like, you know, my character's name. I don't know what to do with them now. What do you think I should do with them? I still have a bunch at home. I should just go there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You know what I mean? I look like Jesus now. <laughs> it's far. And I left my other phone, so I'll stop listening to music real quick. So that's gonna ruin it a little bit. But hey. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Happy birthday! Ah! Run, run, run! There's no one else in the park though. There's that guy with the kid with, with the with the dog. I forgot about him. But all of these face masks are very feminine. So I guess fuck it. Oh my god, this stupid thing just left. It was trying to come at me. It's a firefly. Can you see it? There's two now. Three, four, what the fuck man, I'm surrounded. That's crazy. They think they're helicopters. No, bro, you're an animal. See, you're flying sideways, but you're not a helicopter. I just made you do that. Where the fuck did you go? See, ooh, we're not flying. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck them. I don't think she liked it. I offered her another, and now she says she doesn't want it. See, right there. She doesn't want to come pick it up. I think she's too fat to pick it up. I don't know. Maybe she's filming me. Let's see. Yeah, she's filming me film her. Because she doesn't have the balls to come here. You know what I mean? I went all the way there and I threw those at her. So her weapon is her cell phone too. It's like... <laughs> You know what I mean? There's lasers pointing. And I'm just like, eh, 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 eh. who's gonna win? Who do you think? Oh, I was pointing at the garbage. I saw you were the garbage. I pointed at the garbage for a while. I'm like, oh, the playground. What? What? What is it that you're saying? That I'm actually funny? Oh, look, it's another airplane. Yeah, anyways, I'm sure you can come pick it up when I leave, when you're not scared anymore. Right? What do you think? She doesn't know if I'm filming her or myself. Oh, here's a booger. Here, honey, eat that. I'll leave it here on the grass too, so you can eat it, because you look like a fucking cow. I made her pose for a second. <laughs> She stopped. See what I mean? I think that ship has sailed. She looks like the fucking Titanic. She's as big as that. You know what I mean? You can only come here if you're gonna pick that up. Come on, pose, baby. I want to see you pretty. And now they're covering her. It's the phone is radiation. Radiation emanating from your phone. And what the fuck is that? Like they're, they're ringing the bells now. 
School's out. What is that again? It's fucking weirdos. It's like a comedy movie for sure. Yeah. See how boring? I can't just film these people. They don't act the same when on the camera. It's better to make a movie later. Right? They want to be famous. I don't know, should I stop? Probably, okay. Give me a heart attack. So close that was. Like, holy shit, is that Mohammed? Is it gonna hit a building? There are no buildings around here, are there? <laughs> shit. You know, it's funny, because after this, I'm just like, wow. I clued in. It is Mohammed. I look, but whatever. So I'm like, these bitches, you know, 9 11, they want me to take responsibility for it because I saw it happen. I was there. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then the funky shit is, I could have done just that. You know what I mean? Here the plane just shows up out of nowhere. Back, you know what I mean? Back into the Bermuda Triangle. Disappears out of a bird's asshole. Many assholes. A lot better than the mess that they left there because nobody can clean up except for me, right? They just left it there because, you know, you don't fucking need me. I'm not doing anything and I'm a terrible person. So whatever. I moved some people out of harm's way already knowing they were going to be ungrateful because they just go around telling people that that was an angel. Let me tell you, sweetie, you got saved by Satan. And now what? You already confessed for that to happen. You already told people that you thought you were an angel and you're going to continue to say that. So let me tell you something. I'm going to let you remember exactly what I looked like when I saved you. Because you think you were something that looked like an angel? No, you chose to say that. Then I made you believe that's what it actually looked like. So you can stop looking like a stupid idiot. And actually lie to yourself. Because if you're going to lie, I'm going to make sure that you lie for a reason. Right? I don't give a shit. You won't know the difference. So it doesn't matter anymore. Point is, I can't stop it. I can stop anything from happening. I choose not to. Because none of you deserve anything. Stop it yourself. Seriously. With your little system, your little pathetic little bullshit. Stop it with your stupid little costumes, your undercover, whatever the fuck, your special ops, whatever training you think you can get, your technology. You know, kill each other, masturbate, whatever rituals you think is going to give you the power to do whatever the fuck, steal from people, you know, whatever, right? You're so much fucking better and righteous that you can just, you know, wish for it, put it on a vision board and God is going to give it to you, right? Or whatever the fuck, the universe, brainwash yourself into believing you deserve something, you deserve absolutely nothing. Nothing. Never gonna get shit from me. Contract is over and expired. And I am never, ever going to do this again. Calling me for my number I don't even fucking use just because I'm doing this video is also not going to stop me from doing this video. You're all acting weird and expecting me to just believe that nothing's happening. Or expect me to do shit to myself. You're pathetic. Every single one of you. Now guess what? The park is empty. For the first time ever. There's still bitches walking around. But let's see for how much longer. Because I'm not done yet. And they are already trying to come back just because I said this. That lady and the kid just got there and they think they were there the whole time. I just went back in time to punish them for wanting to come here and then they had to live that whole life again just for that very moment to come to this park and see me here and film them and they would have to let me. The plane, same thing, another Mohammed. Because when you choose to associate with him, 
All those people in there are using hymns. That's it. And then what? That plane disappears into the Triangle Bermuda out of a bird's asshole or whatever the fuck I decide to do with you after. And here is another fucking airplane. And they're fucking buzzing their stupid little whatever the fuck in the little school thing, which I don't even know what the fuck it is. <laughs> it's their thing now, just making a lot of noise, whatever the fuck I go. See more people over there coming, they all try to make it look normal. Fantastic. In conclusion, <laughs> anybody who has been interacting with me or thought they were interacting with me up until about three months ago was not. It was a hologram of me. So an illusion, per se. However, whatever you are tempted to do to that person per se or to that illusion of me will still be punished so yeah that's about it there's a reason why I am uh, not in communication with any of you it's because to me you're nothing every single one of you are guilty because if you were not, you would have told me who I am because you knew. Therefore, we have never been friends. I always knew you we were not friends. And I made you believe you we were. Do not be flattered by making everybody think that you seduced me or had sex with me. Because now I'm going to let you remember what actually happened while you thought you were tricking me and you will be really fucked up so it will be easy for you to tell yourself that that's a lie that it's an illusion that it was a dream and that's okay as long as you don't try anything else because i'm really not a fighter you know what i mean everything to me is a joke and i don't do anything the human way and it doesn't matter how much you try okay I am pretty much one of those people who just like to do things once and having to repeat myself so many times took actually me not even being here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So every time you called me the maid, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's because I was. I wasn't here. So that was a maid here that looked like me. Just look at it that way. Well, however it helps you understand what's actually happening. I'm here now. And sometimes I leave and it's complicated so don't even try to understand when I'm actually here when I'm not and if you keep trying to relive your entire life just to relive this very moment it's not gonna happen because I'm gonna be gone I don't relieve like the shit that I've done because it's boring to me I have a super memory I remember I don't need to relive it to study it to understand on how to do better I just do better as we move along you know what i mean because reliving the same life and doing the same shit makes you really stupid because i'm looking at you and i'm like honey like you're damaged i'm looking at you and i can see that you're psychologically damaged for doing the exact same shit to yourself that you did every single time you chose to come here every day just to make sure you didn't miss out the day that I'd be here. Because you figured I was here several times. And then I lied. So I was only here now. And that's how you tell everyone. Or that it happened twice. I don't know. You're weird. It's weird. Y'all see it in a different light. And that's what I'm trying to say to you. You're not lying. And that's why they can tell, like, that they're not lying. It's just that they don't really know what's happening. They just know, like, bits and pieces, whatever I tell them. And they can't really conclude anything else because they can't even grasp what I'm already telling them. So imagine what is actually, you know, the full extent of what's happening. It's like, I get bored, you know, so I don't want to explain it anymore. 
Because what you really want is a confession and I'm not confessing. I don't understand confession. Confess to who? You know, you, you expect that there will be a God or there's someone superior to me who is just going to come here and I'm throw a lightning at my head and I'm just like, here, honey, I control the lightning. Why? Because I'm not only Satan, I am the creator. I'm not a demon. <laughs> Putting crosses around is not going to repel me. Holy water doesn't do shit either. So you can just like sneeze it at me as much as you want. I'm just going to look at you and be like, you're funny. I'm not even a microphobe. Because I know what microbes are and it doesn't do anything to me. When was the last time you saw me sick? All of you been watching me. You think I'm dumb? Oh, that's when you thought I had COVID? I just like, you couldn't even tell the difference. I'm always doing the same shit <laughs> every day. I'm always at home. I'm always laying down and I always cough a lot. Therefore, did I have fucking COVID or didn't I not have COVID? Maybe I was just smoking weed all fucking day down there because he couldn't tell. Like my last landlord, he couldn't tell. And I did some hoodoo, so he couldn't. He couldn't smell it. No, he could. He could smell the whole fucking basement. And then the other guy started saying that he was smoking inside too. And then he... <laughs> That's when I thought maybe we can play along and be frenemies. And then he just started to turn on me too. So there you go. Too much going on. Y'all thinking important. But I'm dealing with everything around all at once. I can juggle about 12 million balls. <laughs> yeah, because you think 12 is the maximum. I just put a bunch of zeros and here I am. You know what I mean? How many beans are there? <laughs> you know, this is fun, but I'm going to stop now because I want to finish my joint and kind of go lay down. Because I'm hoping to make something happen for me tonight. And I don't want to seem upset because I'm not. If I don't see you, I was going to say that. But I guess it's pointless since you changed your birthday to something similar to mine. <laughs> see you later. You know who. After hearing what I said about the events of 9-11, my landlord decided to give me an eviction notice. I didn't accept it. I didn't take it. I didn't see anything. I didn't read anything. He said I dropped an envelope somewhere, gave it to me, and then said that it was an eviction notice. I don't believe him. I don't trust him. All I know is that he keeps my mail. So, since I didn't see an address... I don't recognize what that's from. I have no tracking number. I don't think that's for me. I don't trust him. He could have anthrax. He has been so deceitful and weird that I fear for my life. He comes into my room and I'm making sure everybody knows how things are escalating because he threw that piece of paper at me. And since I believe he's right by the door listening to everything, I even wanted to come closer to the door so he could hear me. Because I'm posting this video right now to make sure that everybody knows that I fear for my life. He's pathetic.